What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jalen here today. Uh, this is the start of my new channel, Vibing and Riding. Uh, it is a motorcycle based channel if you cannot tell by the name. Anyways, I will be taking y'all along with me in the future on different ride outs and stuff of that nature. You know, bike content, uh, fixing my bike, doing different mods and stuff, upgrades, you know. So if you like that type of stuff, please do me a big favor. Like this video and subscribe to the channel as well. On today's video, I will be doing an oil change on my bike. I have a 2015 GSX-R1000. If you know about that bike, man, you know that's a good bike. Anyways, uh, pretty much changing oil on sport bikes, as far as I know, that's the only thing I've owned. Uh, it's pretty much the same. So even if you don't have this type of bike, you can still follow along with it. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into it, man. Some things you need is an oil pan. Uh, you really don't need one this big a size. This so happened what I had. Uh, make sure you get a funnel to put your oil back in there. Uh, you'll need a set of Allen keys to get your fairings and stuff off. Uh, make sure you get you a socket set or so you can at least get your drain butt off. Um, make sure you get the right oil filter. For this bike, I got the KNN 138. And most importantly, make sure you get the correct oil for your bike. Uh, I got this oil from Suzuki and it is 10W40 oil. Uh, so yeah, that's really important, making sure you get the right stuff. All right, the first thing we need to do is drop this belly fairing at the bottom right here. It is a bolt right here and it's gonna be one on the other side. And after that, we'll move to this bolt right here work our way up to this one and this one right here. Uh, that way it will expose the oil pan and also expose the, uh, the filter down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's hiding back right there. So yeah, let's get that done. I have like a ratcheting uh, Allen keys or like sockets, whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't have to go this route. The Allen keys with the hand work just fine. I just find these to work a little bit better because they're quicker, but yeah, so either one will work. Next, you'll see these push pins right here. Uh, there's one right there and there's one on the other side. You need to remove those. All you have to do is take like a flathead screwdriver or something, pop it on the side, lift it up and pull it out with your finger. And when you come around here, after you remove the bolts, as you can see, it is going to be, you can't really see right here. Uh, there you go. But it'll be two push pins right here you need to remove. It'll be on that side as well. So yeah, just pop those out and carefully pull your fans away. All right, after you remove your bolts and your clips, uh, be careful as you pry this uh, panel away as you can see it's a grommet right there that that connects into right there and basically you just want to come around and pry it apart like i said be careful on this as these pieces are these little tabs are very delicate they break easy you just want to come around like i said make sure you do this side as well and you see it will drop down I just want to make things clear. You do not need to put your bike on a motorcycle stand. I mean, I have it, so I might as well utilize it. But you can easily do this oil change on a land on the kickstand. Uh, pretty much after you're done, uh, if you're moving the fairings, I mean, really, you don't have to go as in depth as I did as far as taking them all off like that. But I have something else to do after this. So I just went ahead and took them off. But when you come down here, you'll see the filter right here. And this is your oil pan. And that is your drain bolt right there. So basically, I'm, depending on your bike, some bikes, not this model, the headers will be in the way of getting the oil filter off. 
So sometimes you might have to drop those down. Uh, on my other bike, I ran into that issue. I mean, it's really not that bad, but it's just something actually you have to do. Just come down here, and I'll break it loose. All right, you can see, you can let it sit there a little bit. It's going to drip out, but you want to make sure that the washer that is on the drain bolt comes off. That is very important because that's pretty much like what helps seal up everything. You see a drain bolt right here. You just want to wipe it off or whatever. You don't got to do too much. And you'll come back and you'll reinstall it the same way you took it out. Now we'll move on to removing the oil filter right here. A uh, good thing about k and it comes with a socket at the top or like a little nut at the top where you can just put your socket on there and it'll easily come off. As you can see, um, oil will come out of that hole right there. Um, so pretty much just let that drain out. Uh, if you wanted to, you can put like a piece of aluminum foil or something right there, like a napkin to catch the oil from getting on your headers. But I mean, it's really not necessary. All you have to do is wipe it off. Or you can use like some brake cleaner and it'll get it right off. So you just let that drain out. So what you wanna do is, you want to put some of the old oil on here around this seal right there, around the edge. So you just lube that up. You don't need a lot, just a little bit will be enough. Uh, pretty much it kind of helps with like the sealing process so nothing will leak out. But yeah, we're just gonna do that and we'll screw it back on the same way and we'll be ready to add the oil in. All right, YouTube, as you can see, we got the drain plug back on there and we got the new filter. I'm gonna clean this up, then we're gonna move on to adding the new oil into it. So after that, you see, we're gonna move up here. We're gonna screw this. This is on the right side of the bike. This is where the oil goes in at. We're gonna remove that right there. Screw, and we're gonna get our funnel. Make sure nothing is like in the funnel. This is a brand new one, but yeah, just make sure it's clean. You don't want any of that stuff going into your engine. So you're just gonna put it in here. Suzuki says it takes about three quarts when you replace the oil filter about three, three and a half. But when you come down here, you'll be checking that level right there to make sure your oil is not too high, it's not too low. You can see it's like a low level right here and that is high. You wanna be closer to the high part, but not too much over. And you definitely do not wanna be down here. Now you want to come around, make sure nothing is leaking. Make sure there's nothing leaking around the oil filter. Like I said, that came from when I took it off, so that is not a leak or anything. And now what you want to do, you want to start your bike, let it run for a little bit. You might see some smoke, do not freak out. Cause like I said, I dropped some oil on here, so it has to burn off. But once it burn off, you'll be just fine. After you run your bike for a little bit, you will notice that the oil level drop. Um, that is pretty common because all it's doing is putting the oil where it needs to go. Uh, so all you would do is come back up here. You will unloosen this, put your funnel back in, and you'll drain in. I mean, not draining. You'll add in a little bit more oil. Just keep your eye on this glass down here. That is very important. You do not want to add too much. And just like that, we are good to go. I got it dialed in where I want it to go. 
Yeah, and as far as putting the fairings back on, I'm not going to do it in this video because I have something else I need to do. But it is pretty simple. All you do is put it back on. Make sure you do not break the clips or anything. When you put it back in those grommets, it is very important not to do that. Uh, just take your time with it. The same way you put them on, I mean, I'm sorry, the same way you took them off, you put them back on. I'll wrap it up for today's video on the oil chase, guys. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Uh, please do me a big favor and like and subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, I'm pretty much trying to get started out here, so that would really help. Um, as far as disposing of the oil, uh, you can put it back into the container it came in, even though it's still some oil in there. Um, and just take it out to like your local parts store. They'll usually dispose of it. And same with the oil filter. But yeah, with that being said, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.